Okay. So like I said, if you've got a bolster or a strap or something like this, um, this is going to be useful for class. And then once you've found your comfortable seat, either against a wall or um, on your mat, I will ask you to close down the eyes. So just take a moment to get comfortable. And we're going to close the eyes down straight away in our practice. As I wanna introduce a concept that is from the lineage of bhakti yoga. And you might or may not have heard of bhakti. And bhakti yoga is the path of yoga that is devotion. So the path where all acts are in devotion, traditionally to God, um, but God could be anything for you. God could be your devotion, your service to loved ones, to nature, to your own body, your own health, to um, yeah, the, the wonder that nature is in the universe or whatever it is that you feel deeply connected to. Bhakti yoga asks us to be in devotion of this. So all acts are in service or in devotion to something that is outside of ourselves. So something that is beyond just us. And this is a really beautiful um, path of yoga because as soon as we step into, or I know as soon as I step into service of to something or to something beyond just me, I have this immense feeling of joy and connection and happiness. Yeah, when we get out of our own head or body or, or mind and we start to act for others, be of service for others or things, it gives this great purpose, this great sense of meaning or connection or belonging even. And this can really bring a really nice um, tone or flavor or quality to our lives. And the first limb of bhakti yoga, this pathway which essentially frees us, is listening. And the word for this is shravanam. Shravanam. And they ask, the path asks us to first listen. Listen deeply. And from this deep listening, we're able to open ourselves to feel this kind of vast opening to receive and then to give. So we begin with listening and the yin practice, I think, is really beautifully aligned with this quality of practicing listening. Eyes closed, body soft, less movement. And it gives us this time to practice shravanam. And from a place of listening, we can then better discern better understand and move from a place that is open and fluid and willing to change and adapt. And this is really that quality of love or acceptance or compassion. It asks us to be open, to be open to receiving, to be open to giving. So we'll pause here in stillness with the breath. Take a smooth inhale through the nose and really feel it pass in through the nostrils. And then just let it pass back out again. Feel it. And as you continue to feel breath moving in through nostrils and out, you might even hear a faint quality of sound. So we do the breathing and then we feel the breathing and then we listen to the breath. 
So we'll just take another three slow breaths here together. And you might have an intention or a focus behind your practice today, and it could be to listen to how you are. How is my body? How is my breath? How is my mind? And be open to receiving that information, to practice this listening. And then opening up your body to giving it out, to letting it release from your body so you can make space to be full, to be free, to find that freedom or liberation or connection. One more breath in. Slow exhale. And just gently let your chin nod to your chest. We'll just softly open the eyes, let the light back in. If you need to change your seat, you're welcome to change your seated position. And then grab your strap or your um, belt, clothes belt or dressing gown cord. Hopefully you've got something. If you don't, you could also use like a long tea towel or something like that. You're going to reach the arms nice and wide. So don't have the arms too close together. And just begin to circle the arms back behind you, gently pulling out on your prop or your strap. So the arms can come down and then lift up, shoulder blades lift, open chest as the arms circle back. And then once you've got the action, you're welcome to close the eyes back down. And again, it's a... It's a opportunity to listen back into the body. So we're listening for sensations now. Noticing what you feel as you move in the circumference here, the circular arc. And if it's feeling quite smooth and fluid, you're welcome to narrow the grip a little bit. And the more narrow the arms, you're going to get a deeper pull and tug across the front of the chest. And again, we're working for a smooth motion in the shoulders. So if it starts to feel a little bit clicky and clunky and one arm's moving in a different kind of sequence to the other, just come back with the hands wider apart. And then I want you to find a place where it feels like you're getting the best or the juiciest or the kind of most desirable sensation. So again, bhakti, this path of devotion also supports us to practice from a place of love and openness and compassion. So be kind to your body as we hold this kind of stickier, tighter place. But also it doesn't have to be painful. So bring it to a position where you're allowing this sensation to open and expand, but it's not beyond the capacity. It's not so uncomfortable that you're unable to be here and breathe. We will take another four deep breaths. Feel the back of the rib cage gently press forward and up into the chest. Let it soften as you breathe out. Last one, big breath in. Empty out. And then slowly arms come all the way back up and just circle the hands down. We'll get rid of the strap. Just notice you might have a little bit of tingling up through the inner arm into the chest. So just soften the shoulders a little here. And then we're going to take a um, stretch into the side of the neck. So I'm going to pivot to face sideways so you can see my bind. Again, change your seat if you're uncomfortable. Interlace the hands at the lower back in a clasp and then move the fist, the clasp, over to the left hip so that your right forearm 
is hooked behind your back here. Again, you might want to straighten the legs out if you're feeling you need a change. And then wrap the elbows back as if you're going to pin them together behind your body. And we will drop left ear to left shoulder. Okay. So left ear to left shoulder. Draw right shoulder down and away. And then again, close the eyes and just a little bit of movement. So the chin is going to start to nod up towards the ceiling and then down towards the left pec and chest. And just be gentle as you do this may or may not feel a little different sensation move into the side of the neck and the throat. You might even push and puff the chin forward and up towards the top of your jaw, the top lip, to open the front of the throat. So with eyes closed, you are exploring. And then when you find a position where it feels, again, that juice, that sensation that needs to be set free or opened, you hold there. Let the breath get heavy and full. Notice where the mind wanders, just gently bring it back to the breath or the sensation. Last inhale. And then nod your chin down to your chest so your eyes look down between your legs. Release the bind and then just hands to knees and slowly let the head lift back up. Oh, the shoulders a little bit. You might notice a little bit of length and space along right side. And then we'll change. So find the clasp again. Move the knuckles this time over to the right hip so that the left arm wraps around your back. Squeeze the elbows back. And then this time drop your right ear to your right shoulder. And you might instantly enjoy this position. You can stay or close the eyes and feel free to take little nods of the chin up and down, keeping right side of the head heavy. Maybe push the bottom part of your jaw, bottom lip to top lip. Stretch and open the front neck. And then find the place. We'll take another four breaths there. And then to get out of the pose, nod your chin to your chest at the Eyes gaze down so the head is heavy and then release the bind, bring hands to knees and then slowly lift your gaze. Okay, we're going to move on to hands and knees. So just a little bit of movement. I like to weave gentle movement into my yin classes just so that then we're more able to be still. <laughs> this is something that I've learned about myself. It's nice to just move a little and then I'm, I'm willing to be more still. So I'll get you to place hands under knees, hands under shoulders, knees under hips. 
and then take your left hand to the back of your skull. So we're going to move the thoracic, the upper back a little bit here, but keep your gaze down at your right hand and thumb. Press the back of the head up into the left hand so the back of the neck lengthens and then look at your right thumb as you inhale, spin the left side of the chest open towards the left and you might not move that far it's quite difficult here to isolate thoracic and then as you exhale curl up and in through the chest and the spine as you take left elbow to right forearm or inner arm and find a push and a scoop through the body inhale spine lengthen open spine and chest towards left and then exhale, curl like a cow, cat pose, round the spine as you take elbow to forearm. And then we'll do this three more times. Chest spins to left, breath in, look down. Exhale, spin chest to right, push through the floor and scoop the back. Two more, inhale, breath. And exhale. Last one. Stay open, reach the left arm to the ceiling now. Keep looking at the right thumb. Push more through right arm. Spin left side chest open. Take a full breath, open through the left pec. And then bring your left hand down to the mat. So this is where you might like to take a pillow or if you've got a yoga block, just out in front so that your hands are just kind of at the back of your pillow here. We're going to take the left arm back up to the sky and this time we will thread the left arm underneath the body and this is where if you'd like to you can place your head onto your pillow. Yeah so you get a little bit of extra support here otherwise no need and you can place your head all the way down to the floor. Yeah so you can choose it takes a little bit of wriggling to find the position of the pillow under your head. And then hips stay above the knees here, so the pelvis is high. And then you're welcome to keep your right hand by the face or reach your right arm forward above the head, but keep the palm on the ground. And you're even welcome to turn your forehead to the ground or the pillow, and this will get a little more into the back of your left shoulder blade. Otherwise, keep the temple, the side of the head down. And then move into that deep quality of breath. Let that support you to hone in on this ability to listen. Listening to sensations in the pose. Listening for the mind wandering away from this present moment. Last deep breath. And then you can place the right hand back down, push back up onto both hands and straighten through the arms. We'll take a little cat cow. So chest pulls forward and then round the spine, press down through the hands and the feet. Two more, breath in. Spine moves forward and out between the arms and then round the spine. Last one. Breath in. Long breath out. We'll move to second side. Right hand will come behind the base of the skull. 
Press head into the hand, neck long. Gaze at the left thumb and then start to open right side chest, looking at the left thumb. So it's an inhale. This is quite strong. And then exhale, find that cat back as you round and pull elbow toward left forearm. It's an inhale to lengthen, chest spirals open to right. And then exhale, round the spine, pull elbow to forearm. Two more, breath in. And breath out. Last one, inhale. Pause, reach right arm to sky, keep looking at left thumb. Stretch up through the right pec and fingers, and then we will thread. So if you want to take the bolster again or the pillow under your head, drag it in nice and close. Thread the right arm under, and then you can just wriggle your knees a bit closer if they're a little far away, and then reach here through the right arm. The left arm, you're welcome to wrap it over the bolster or lengthen it all the way out above your head. Otherwise, it can stay here. No bolster required. If you do not want to use it, you can bring the head to the floor. Let the belly soften. So we're not holding any kind of extra tension in the abdomen here. The jaw, let it go. One more breath in. And then bring the left hand in, push up onto both arms. Good. And then you can just round and arch the spine, just one or two. Okay, we're going to transition to lay down onto the body. Lay down onto the belly. Okay, and we're going to take a broken wing or a, a peck and shoulder release. So you're going to cactus your elbows out to the sides like this. And then we'll go to, we'll roll to the right. So I'm going to just pivot on the diagonal so you can see. So elbows like this, you will look at your left hand and then you're going to keep this elbow behind you flat. Yeah, this elbow and palm flat. You will roll back. And as you roll back, your left leg can kind of hook behind you like so or pull your bottom knee up in front of your body and then you can stack both knees on top of one another. So the back elbow stays in this little cactus shape as we roll back here. Yeah, so we'll do this together. Look to the left hand, use the left hand to help you roll back. And then you can stack your knees one on top of another like so, or you're welcome to keep the back knee open and start to spin the pelvis more towards the ceiling. The more we spin the chest open and up and the pelvis open and up, the deeper sensation into this underneath pec and shoulder. So you can always soften your chest more towards the ground or open it up towards the sky. Just make sure this back shoulder and arm is flat so we're not kind of lifting the elbow off the floor. And once you've found your position, you will stay here. There's a little gentle pressure down through the back arm and elbow. So you gently press it into the floor and then gently draw the chest forward and open.
And again, just notice if your tendency is to decide that with the mind first how this feels, what's going on. Can you start with the deeper listening? Use that as your information and then comprehend from that listening place. And as you listen, you start to open to what is. You start to really drop in. Maybe it's this devotion or service to your body here, to giving yourself the space just to breathe and listen, be still. And then very, very gently, you bring your knees back, slowly lengthen the legs and roll back onto the pelvis, the front of the pelvis. And we'll just bring the hands under the forehead for a minute. You might like to jiggle the hips a little side to side. And then we'll set up for the second side. So again, bend the elbow 90 degrees. Just wriggle across. And then you're going to take the head, look to the right hand, and then start to roll the right leg back. Again, you're welcome to bend both knees, stack them one on top of the other in front of the body here. And if you've got the breast tissue in the way, you can kind of scoop it up and out of the way a little bit here. So just work with your body, work where, where you need to go so that there's no pain. Continue to lengthen the exhale breath so you move your body more towards this deep space of rest. You might even hear the stomach gurgling. Digestion starts to work in a place of calm. One more breath in. Slow, long exhale. Again, gently lengthen your legs back onto the mat. Slowly roll your body back. And again, we will just place hands under forehead 
and just let the hips wriggle a little side to side. And then I'll get you to slowly roll the body over and we'll come up to sit. So just bend your knees, bring yourself slowly back up to a seated position. I'm going to take a seated twist. So I'll get you to take the legs out in front. And then bend your left knee and cross it just to the outside of your right calf muscle. So it doesn't need to pull all the way in unless that's super comfortable for your body and your hips. It can slide a little bit lower, that's fine. And then you're going to wrap your right forearm around the front of your right leg. So you're going to scoop it around and in. And then just start with an interlock of your fingers and pull the spine forward and up toward the left leg. As you pull the spine forward and up, hug the knee in and then gently press the knee back out into your right elbow. So you're pulling in and pressing out equally. You might feel this more into the outer left hip or you might feel it in the spine. And you're welcome to stay here the whole time, stay as you are. Otherwise, you can take your left hand back behind you, lean back with the spine a little bit. So I'm leaning back to create space, lift the right arm up, big breath in. And then exhale, twist a little bit, and then take the right arm in front of the left leg. Now you might keep the hand on the ground like I've got here, creating like a little triangle with my fingers and my skull and gently just press down, lift the chest and then gentle rotation. Otherwise, you can slide the bottom leg closer towards your bottom right hand and maybe you grab around the back of the calf. So you create like a little hook here. Yeah, and then lift up, breath in. And it's a gentle exhale to twist. So we'll stay here, okay, and working through that thoracic spine, keeping the chest and the collarbones open and broad. If it feels accessible without tension, the back hand can lift, wrap the forearm around the back of the leg, and then maybe the front arm sneaks through underneath the leg to grab the fingers. No worries, no need to go there. You can stay with option one, two, or this is three. And again, we're looking to lift out of the lower back, spine tall. And then it's an exhale to gently wrap left side chest around. Be gentle. Let the belly massage into the left inner thigh. One more breath. Gently, gently release where you are. Take both hands back behind you. So lean back on the fingers, bend the knees. And then just gently kind of rock back under through your pelvis so you find a scoop and then just rock forward. So we kind of just neutralize the spine. Your hands can turn the opposite way. Little rock under and forward. And then we'll move to the second side. So come upright. Left leg will stay long this time. Bend right knee and step the right foot outside left calf or higher if it's comfy. Start left forearm, wraps around front of right leg and then create that little hook. So you've got a little kind of cradle with your arms. Squeeze the spine forward and up towards the thigh as you draw the thigh closer to your body, but then gently press the right knee back out into the hook of your left arm. It's not so much about the neck. We want length out of the lower back. 
gentle exhale to twist. And again, you're welcome to stay here or right hand back, lean back, lift the left arm, big breath in. Exhale, twist, and then take the left arm outside the right leg. Again, you might create fingertips here, a little triangle with your arms wide, the skull is the top of the triangle. Or you'll shift the bottom straight leg closer towards your front fingers and then maybe wrap around the back of the calf to anchor in here. And then lift up. Feel the belly gently compress and massage into the thigh here. So we're getting the digestion a little more stimulated here with this compression in the belly. And soften the back shoulder. And again, you can stay or if the back hand can float with little effort. Take the back right arm around the back. Maybe it rests there, that's enough. Otherwise, bottom elbow will bend and come underneath the leg, maybe to find your fingertips. You draw tall up on the sit bones. Gentle exhale to rotate. Last breath in. And then very gently release where you are. Take both legs forward. Again, just shift the pelvis a little forward if you're rocked back and take the fingertips to point towards the back of the mat. Bent legs or straight legs. It's like a cat cow, but on the pelvis. You're just kind of rocking forward and back just to lengthen lower back and open the chest. Okay. And then just a little something here. We'll take the legs out. Again, you're welcome to keep the knees bent if that's better for the pelvis. Your hands are going to reach back quite wide apart so they're not too close. The palms of the hands are going to reach towards the back corners of your mat. And you can stay there. That's already a uh, um, opening for chest and shoulders here. Otherwise, you're going to start to scoot your pelvis a little bit away from the hands. So the more you scoot the pelvis away and then you soften into this shape, you're going to get a little bit more intensity here through the outer arm. Keep the elbows a little soft and bent. So try not to push the front part of your elbow, the fleshy part kind of down. Think of just little gentle bend through the elbow and then let the chest just open and relax. Let the chin drop. You won't be here for too long. Just a couple of breaths. Again, come higher or pelvis closer to hands if this is too much. We'll just take another two breaths. Last inhale. And to get out of this, just roll to one side, bend your elbow, bring it in, roll to that elbow, and then bend the other elbow and bring it in. Good. And then bend your knees if they were straight, let your knees drop to one side and then slowly push yourself up. So this is where we'll use the pillows or your bolster. And if you've got blocks, you're welcome to use blocks instead. But your pillows are gonna come lengthways. If you don't have a long pillow, you can go this way with your pillows. I'll show both options. Option one here, hook the upper body over so your shoulders can hook over the top edge. And then head comes to floor. If you need another pillow behind your head, you can take it there into that shape. Arms might grab above the head like so. Or if you've got a long pillow, you can take it this way and then lay your whole spine down and the head is also supported. And then you can, again, let your arms come wide, maybe grab 
around the top edge here, let the elbows soften. And then the legs are in any orientation, legs long, maybe soles of feet together, knees wide to open through the hips or feet wide and let the knees knock in to widen the lower back. So we'll pause here. Close the eyes. And then this big, beautiful opening through our whole front body, just again, listen and notice how this makes you feel. How does it change the quality or mood or energy within the body? The way we place ourselves or the way we position our body, body posture, can be really influencing on our mood, on our actions, on our way that we interact with the world. Can you practice here being open? Open to what is, to what you can hear, feel, sense. And I invite you to stay here a little longer. You're welcome to take your own time to take Shavasana, be in your space, eyes closed, let the body rest and you can stay in this shape and find the rest or you can move towards Shavasana. So don't rush if you've got the time, just really allow yourself to very slowly complete the practice in a way and timing that feels right for you. And if you have You feel that the time is now. You just slowly deepen the breath. Slowly bring movement back into the body. And we are in time. We are completing the practice. Roll the knees to one side, roll off your pillows and pause there. Again, press yourself up to sit. And 
before you rush off onto the next thing. Take a moment to sit with a tall spine and just consciously three deep breaths. Feel the inhale pass through the nose. And out. Two more like that. Last inhale. Exhale. And so this practice that you have cultivated here, this leaning into listening and stillness and allowing kind of sensations and thoughts and mood to arise and to fall. It could be a practice that you carry on to other actions, tasks, interactions in your day, in your evening. Just notice the moments where listening occurs and where it doesn't. And when it's occurring, notice the mood, the sensation, the mind. And when it's not occurring, also reflect upon that state. And just see which one gives you a little more sense of opening, compassion, love, spaciousness. And we just keep practicing. So these things become a little more innate. Thank you so much for coming to practice. Namaste. Thank you, Annabelle.